Hi, welcome back to our Windows Server 2016 course what's new for today we will continue to just uh, the previous topic and we have covered on part one the quick intro around the 2016 and the improvement and for today we will cover platform vision and why Microsoft change their vision towards security and hyper-converged software-defined compute storage and networking so without further ado the first things around uh, uh, the platform vision uh, based on the you know a feedback a focus and a zero stack this is the ultimate vision by Microsoft and the uh, Microsoft concept of going forward and how they can improve and create uh, innovation around their product and uh, cloud first which is most of the time will be the main focus and in 2008 and 2012 the focus was on Hyper-V and scaling up Hyper-V and uh, sort of uh, in order to compete against a major provider like VMware for hypervisor but with the 2016, it's all about the uh, Azure cloud environment and how you can change the point in design for 2016 and will be the main focus around it. Uh, let's really have a look. So, platform vision driven by uh, feedback. Microsoft, according to the white papers and online Microsoft they had uh, basically few schemes like inside schemes and they gave feedback and from customers and suggestion around the products and they work on it to improve it so with regard to the platform vision for 2016 it's all around security software defined data center cloud ready platforms so uh, the release of the 2016 was different from the earlier OS. Everyone has to access the technical previews. We had TP1 all the way to TP5 for a couple of years. Feature being added. A lot of the uh, uh, information around videos, you know, through the Channel 9, Virtual Academy, and Microsoft uh, is driving telemetry towards, you know, catching errors, and so on. So. These are basically leverage, you know, the improvement. That's why on 2016 and later on will be different. Now, the focus around hybrid data. Most of customers nowadays, they have either a cloud environment or hybrid environment. So to be able to have that agility, flexibility, traditional data center with file, web, web services, database servers, limit the agility th to be able to scale up scale down and it was not basically it was very costly and when it comes to refresh it does basically impact you know and require like a proper project with a budget for it now uh, on-premise private cloud it give you that flexibility around medium agile agility you know and scale up faster but it's not like other public cloud like uh, Microsoft Azure, AWS, or Google, which give you high agility and scale up faster. Also, in addition to this, it helps us to move uh, faster to hybrid cloud environments, you know. So, within Microsoft, uh, we've noticed the last few years, they've changed uh, the way how they support their platforms, and we have uh, something around some um, Azure Public Cloud and we got uh, something called Azure Stack which basically empowers the control data center and uh, sort of like a hybrid uh, hybrid scale enterprise between you know the platforms or on-premise and the cloud and we have like you know either uh, infrastructure, infrastructure as a service or platform as a service and then again utilizing Windows servers or even Linux so we are getting more and more and more like you know uh, sort of um, uh, tools technology are getting supported on this public cloud according to Microsoft uh, white papers and information they published they are seeing nearly 100,000 new subscription Azure subscription per month 
so we can see uh, Azure is catching up with you know like uh, other major vendors like AWS you know so it's really the main major folks now with Azure stack it's supposed to replace something called Azure pack uh, Azure pack still supported until 2022 it was a free and you can install it on a VM uh, on your machine to play or to give you the feeling of Azure itself with Azure uh, stack, it's a bit different. You get now Microsoft, I think, working with a vendor or partner, which they provide like a hardware with Azure stack pre-installed, which means, again, the ultimate aim is to help around, you know, pre-provisioning, preparing, you know, environment if you choose to move to the cloud. And again, with Azure stack, uh, they, you know, they improve it. So you can even utilize, you know, uh, different connectors to communicate to different uh, basically uh, public cloud in this is uh, a slide you can see the as uh, stack support for other technology like uh, vmware aws and so on these connectors will help you around communicating to different uh, uh, basically platforms and having different tenancy different uh, portals in that scenario we can see we can is either a system center suite or VMM connectors, it could be Azure connector, it could be Azure stack connector, it could be VMware, AWS, OpenStack, and Veeam, or any other REST APIs via PowerShell. Being able to control, you know, tenancy, portals, billing, sharing, automate, and sort of like control from A to Z around you know the life cycle of a project involving this public cloud and with this public cloud uh, it basically help uh, around you know uh, understand these basic visions for 2016 and you can see there are either virtual machines like nano servers or core servers or the new containers within Microsoft uh, platform either utilizing Windows or uh, using Linux, but again, the, the it is Docker as the tool will be utilized for the containers with the same Docker commandlet across both platforms, and same thing apply either cloud or on premise or uh, hybrid. With all of these, we can control the channel, the traffic between the environment via Azure Service Fabric. We will cover these in more details later on at later stages. But this is what I had for you for today. I mean, later on, um, this is the Windows Server 2016 course, but we will cover the Azure side of it as well, like Azure Service Fabric, Azure uh, Gateway applications, and how that works with Azure Gateways, and how they interact, and how we can do a migration, and how they work with DNS and other elements and of the cloud. Now. This is what I had for you for today. It was all around a quick recap, all around you know the platform vision, how Microsoft moving toward you know or changing the focus around their technology, and everything basically moving toward you know the cloud, public cloud, you know, and how they are trying to help their customers to be prepared if they ever decided to move to Azure. That's all for today. Hopefully you've learned something useful and I shall see you at part three for our course Windows Server 2016 What's New. Thank you. Goodbye.